Welcome back on the show today. Today with us, we have a wonderful personality here. He is the producer and artistic director of the Real Time International Film Festival. And he is one person who has a lot of talent and experience in the film industry. Welcome on the show on Hello Nigeria today, Stanley Ohikware. Welcome. Good Thank evening. you very much. It's a pleasure to have you. Good to have you. It's always a pleasure to be here. I'm, I'm excited about the Real Time International Film Festival because mm. we remember that when the competition, when the festival started, we had a lot of your competitors, mm. the actors, the directors, and the different teams. Mm. You know, I remember the EastEnders coming on the show. Mm. So, for people who have no idea what the Real Time International Film Festival is about, what is it about? Uh, the Real Time Film Festival is a is a film festival that it's like we say it's for filmmakers by filmmakers. So, <laughs> uh, it's a festival that takes place in a whole week, uh, usually in June. So we also call it the June Festival, uh, whereas most other festivals happen at the end of the year, and uh, that time is kind of congested. So we focused on June. And uh, we have a couple of flagship activities that happen during the festival. And one of them has to, happens to be the Real Time Film Challenge, uh, which uh, last year, of course, we, we did in partnership with uh, WeTV, Wazovia, and uh, the rest of the, the, the conglomerate. Uh, so during the Real Time Film Challenge, filmmakers form teams. Uh, last year, we had 102 teams uh, that were formed, each one comprising of approximately 10 different filmmakers. And the task was to make a movie within 20 hours. Yeah, and the challenge took place at Yaba Tech. Uh, what we did was that we, we met with the authority of the school and uh, we practically converted the campus to a film village. Brilliant. Yes. Yeah. Really, really 102, nice. you say? 102, yeah. So interesting. Now, you mentioned that there are several activities that happened in the Real Time Film Festival. Mm -hmm. now, I know in a lot of festivals, there are people who have submitted their short story documentaries. Yeah. So give us you know, an insight into some of the activities that happened during the festival. Okay, so during the Real Time Film Festival, uh, we have uh, submissions from around the world, as usual. Uh, each year, we have an, uh, an average of uh, 3,000 films submitted from all around the world. And uh, we have Nigerian filmmakers, filmmakers from other African countries, and those from uh, Western countries. People come around. So every year we have approximately 40 foreign filmmakers in attendance. And uh, we watch movies. We have the Q&A sessions. We have the review sessions and all that. There are free training sessions, master classes, and uh, the real-time film challenge. Uh, but there's one peculiar thing we also do that no other festival does. We we pay keen interest on children. So we have a kids film making academy. Nice. And uh, every year we show a movie made by the kids that we've been mentoring. The kids not acted, made by yeah, the kids. Yeah, made. Uh, so also, we're also the, first, the only festival uh, I know of in the whole of Africa that has a category for films made by kids. So every year we have um, about 30 between 25 and 30 films made by kids from across the world who have submitted these movies. And you should see those movies. Okay. I'm, I'm very excited <laughs> about it. I mean, I'm excited more because at the start of the show, we talked about disciplining kids. Yeah. I feel like this is a way to actually reward kids. Because mm. as, as much as you're depriving them of something, you should be able to reward them when sure. they do when right. They do you take them like to that. a festival like, like this and enroll them, let them get to see their favorite mm. stars, and learn a new talent. Exactly. You know, work uh, on their talents. It's, well. it's really exciting because when, when a kid tells a story, it's. Uh, He's telling it from a very innocent perspective. So in as much as he might be dealing with a very serious subject matter, but the way he interprets it, it's uh, always beyond what the adult mind can comprehend. Yeah. Okay, so Stanley, I know that you've done movies for years. Like, yeah. there are a couple of movies that you've done, and I'll be like, who sits down and just creates a movie <laughs> like that? And then, you know, there's, you, you, you're one of the people who, I'm not saying this because you're here, who I think that, yes, in a way, I can't tell the end of your recent movies, you know, from the beginning, which is like culture when we're watching Nigerian mm. movies, you know, where you can tell the mm. end from the beginning. From the end, yeah. Now, for you, you as a filmmaker now, what state of mind do you put yourself in when you have to create a film? It's my consistent state of mind. <laughs> Explain uh, that. Okay, I'm a trained fine artist, right? And uh, specifically, I'm a painter. Uh, so I make films from an artistic point of view. So what I should be doing on the canvas with my oil paint, I do in the medium of film when I'm making a movie. So that means I'm making a movie and then I'm putting all the elements that an artist always thinks about when he's making a work of art. Uh, but beyond the fact that I'm an artist, the, the kind of art I practice again also shows forth. 
I'm a surrealist, right? Uh, so if you know about surrealism, people like Salvador Dali. Mm. So Dali could make a painting of you, and your ear is where your My hand should is. be, <laughs> and your hand is coming out from your mouth and all that. So surrealism is inspired from the world of dreams and fantasies and uh, absolute imagination. So uh, it's like a no holds bad kind of expression of art. So when you make a movie with the same mindset, there's no then limit. there's <laughs> actually no way that you can see the repetition of ideas because it's infinite. And then for your casting too, I noticed that you don't have stereotype, you know, casting. No. Sometimes you're using a particular person to do a certain character. The next time you, and I know that you have this thing for new people. Mm. I don't know why. Yeah. You always don't want to use the same people all the time. Mm. You know, like some producers have actually had this thing of, oh, these ones are my people. Yeah. Like in the Yoruba setting, they'll say, I want more milele, you know? Mm. So, but you just want to always discover new people and push them. Why? Uh, because I think, personally, when you make a movie, it's not about the big names, it's about the person who can interpret the role. So if I have an audition, I do a casting and it, a hundred people come, uh, sometimes the first five people already have what I want because it's the person who can best interpret the role that we're trying to execute as the person who should get the job, not someone who is popular. Because many times uh, popularity is not really a very good pointer to who the right person for the job is. And then again, if you don't give uh, the jobs to people who are not big names, how would they ever become big names? Hmm. You understand? So everybody deserves a fair chance based on um, once you, you merit it. It's based on merit. You get the job. That's right. where I operate. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that you say that. I'm hoping that many people will take a cue from that as well <laughs> and give Nollywood a chance to see. I'm, I'm glad that Nollywood, to be fair, I feel like Nollywood is one of the most welcoming industries mm -hmm. and it's very open to newcomers. Yeah. And it's an industry where you put in your best foot. You know, you can always you can find always your way excel, to the top. Yeah. You're a multi-talented person. Before I go into your other arms as an editor, as a director, let's talk about what you see when you're auditioning for an actor. What are the, some of the things you look out for? now i'm asking this because there are many people i mean there was an audition i went for recently and i don't like auditions personally but when i saw the crowd it was massive uh, and I, there are many people who want to go into the film industry uh, yeah, every day so yeah. what would you say to an aspiring actor someone who is going into an audition what are some of the things they should prepare and what state of mind what are you looking out for as a casting director okay personally i if you come to my audition uh, memorizing a monologue you'll be disappointed uh, I typically don't ask people to recite a monologue. If I you told like me, oh, monologues. I came with a nice monologue, I'll tell you, okay, thank you, but we don't exactly need that. Uh, and then it's not about having a particular script that they are reading. Mm. So for me, uh, when, I, when I do auditions, when I do casting, it's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to dig deep and search within your emotions and see how much of that emotion you can portray on screen. So uh, when you talk about the crowd, I could audition a thousand people in a space of two days, and every time you come to the place where the audition is taking place, you don't see more than two people, because it's very orderly. I also hate that crowd is stuff. So when we call for auditions, uh, people indicate interest, and they get tags, and they have codes. So if your code is 001, 001, 002, 003, 004, 005, have to come between 12 and 1 o'clock. Once you are done, you leave. So in the next one, uh, the five people that have left, five new people come. So people don't really meet each other there. And then uh, it's not the kind of audition where there are some guys sitting down behind the desk and saying, OK, tell us about it. If you, uh, anybody who's watching this who has auditioned with us also knows that you don't get to see anybody. <laughs> You're just there in this holo room with the camera. You can hear us. We can hear you. But we can see you where you can see us. Wow, big brother. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so again, it removes that uh, layer of, okay, that means I wouldn't make any decision because I know you. And you won't expect anything from me because you know me. So it's purely based on merit. So what, so it's, what, what it's, are the acting tips? You know, what, what would you want to see? Well, uh, there are some actors who come for auditions, and I know they are good. Uh, but when you tell them, okay, you know what, this is what you're going to do. We want to check out your emotional curves and all that. They got to a point and they hold back. So for me, just let it all out. Don't hold anything back. So in a typical audition, let me just give you an example. Uh, I give you a situation. I tell you, okay, play it out. And then you do it after that. And I say, okay, it's time to test your emotions. And after the emotions, we go into the speech analysis and all that to see how your diction and how you talk and how you relate. But that's even on one side. But the emotional one is the strongest part. So I could tell you, okay, we are going to do this now. When I tell you the next thing to do, 
without any transition, just cut straight to doing it. I want to see how fast you can go from this emotion to this one without happy any to sad, from So sad I tell you, okay, now she's sad and she's crying. And you begin to cry. And I say, you know, she's really heartbroken. So she's crying uncontrollably. <laughs> and she's like, ah. And I say, and now she's happy. Duh. So switching from that crying mode to mm. being happy, some people hit it with one. As in the first go, they hit it. I'm like, ah. So good. Now, all these things, are there going to be trainings for this at the Real Time International Film Festival? Yeah, we have uh, acting trainings, we have uh, directing trainings for cinematography, lighting design, uh, screenwriting. Uh, yeah, we do, and it's, it's, it's absolutely free. Oh, it's free because I was going yeah. to ask yeah, that question. Free. Okay, now, I'm happy that you mentioned, um, you know, emotional effects of, yeah. you know, when you're doing your audition. But mm. then, what if sometimes we've had actors who are great actors and then they have some emotional defects, basically. Yes. And I know of somebody who can cry naturally mm. just because of so, uh, some, some things experience. They've been yes, through. so it's not that they're not good enough. What do you mm. do when you see somebody like that? Well, we are not, we're, I'm not stiff necked when I, when, I, when I audition. So I could say, okay, it's time. At this point, she begins to cry. And the person says, oh, it's just not happening. And it's, it's interactive. And I say, okay, do you need some time? And the person says, uh, I don't think it's going to happen. People are that honest. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, so that means we've seen the best of you. And the person says, I think so. So I'm giving you the free hand to tell us that we've seen everything we need to see. Mm. But some other people say, no, I've not seen what I'm looking for. Do you need some extra time? Do you want to go out and come back again? And the person says, I think that will help. And I say, okay, you know what? Go tell us when you're ready. Is there someone outside who will bring you back in when you're ready? And that's how yeah. it should be. Auditions shouldn't should be. be like you're coming to write an exam and it's judgment day. No, you either pass uh, yeah, to because fail and go to actually, hell. when we do auditions, it's like we're just gisting with ourselves. Like mm -hmm. it's just everything and should be that, very that's easy. That's the best yeah. way to do it. it. Brings out the best yeah. in the person. And I'm, like, I'm glad that you say there are going to be acting trainings, training mm -hmm. in cinematography yeah. as well at the Real Time Film Festival. So someone is watching this and thinks I have to be a part of this Real Time Festival. <laughs> how can they get you know to be a part of it? Where is it happening? When is it happening? Okay, so uh, the Real Time International Film Festival this is the fourth edition. Edition, and we've consistently held it on the mainland. Uh, a lot of people are shocked uh, when I tell them that fact uh, because everybody thinks you need to do something on the island for it to be big. Uh, as of last, last year, we were averaging uh, an attendance of 10,000 eh, as of last year. Mm -hmm. And um, people that means people come because they, they see the value that it, that it, that it gives. True. So uh, submission of films started last year. Submissions, we end on Sunday. Uh, so anybody who still has a movie to submit can uh, submit the movie between now and Sunday. Okay. And the uh, after Sunday is... on the www.realtimefilmfestival.com. However, when you get there, on the home page, the first thing you see is a button to the submission portal where we receive the entries. It's called Film Freeway. All right. Then where is it happening as well? It's happening at the Kedja City Mall. All right. Okay. The Time. Kedja City Mall. Uh, the schedule will be out uh, the moment we finish our selection process okay. because we need to know the films we are showing and know the duration, and then we put out the schedule and the programming and all that. Yeah. But do we have an exact date when the real time? Uh, June 9 to 15. That was Brilliant. sorted right. since last year. Brilliant. Yeah, all right. So. I, I think I'm going to definitely be a part of this <laughs> real time film festival. <laughs> Uh, you should also be part of the film challenge. It's really exciting. I love that. We will try. Love yeah, I love that. It should be. It's, it's really fun because you get to a space and just everywhere you see filmmakers making films and you see drones flying everywhere, someone doing a cast stunt, <laughs> you know, I people look forward fighting. To this. I mean, I've seen your films and yeah. see people catching fire on set. <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.